Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the sequence function in Excel 365 in order to create a series of values. So this will definitely come in handy whenever you want a large list of sequenced numbers. My students in computer concepts will have to do this a couple times when they're creating loan amortization tables for mortgages, basically, and those can have between 180 and 360 rows, depending on how long they choose their mortgage. So let's create a scenario for ourselves where we have a mortgage that might be 30 years, which means I would have 360 rows of payment information for the amortization table. So how might we go about doing something like that? Well, if I had a column of payment numbers, I might put in a one and then a two and two of those cells. I can select that range and then use the fill handle, lower right corner of the uh, selected range, and then I can drag all the way down until I get to 360. Now, if I was using the installed version of Excel 365 or Excel 2019 or even older versions, I'd see a little screen tip which would verify for me when I got to my 360th row. Now I have to rely on the row numbers for Excel and know that I'm starting at one, so I need to go to like 361, and then when I let go of my mouse, I'll get to 360. So that's a little bit tedious, a little bit painful there, so not a very efficient way to go when we wanna have that large sequence. Just imagine how painful it would be if we were doing something bigger. So maybe we needed a thousand rows or more. Hence, the sequence function comes to save the day. So I'm gonna do this again. We'll have a payment number area. Now I'm going to write equals sequence. So the sequence function only has one required parameter, the number of rows that we want. Notice the other parameters for columns, start, and step. Those are going to be um, optional. They're in square brackets. That's what that means. So for the sequence, I'm going to click on the cell that contains the number of years, 30 years, multiplied by 12, 12 months per year. Closing parentheses, press enter, and then instantly I'm going to get my 360 rows. Excellent, that was even faster. Now what I really like about the sequence function too is I can jump over to my original cell reference and I can change this from 30 years to 15 years and my sequence function, since it was based off of that starting cell reference, it now knows to only go to 180, whereas my former one, that continues on to 360. So a much better, more efficient technique for creating that series of numbers. Now, you'll recall that there are some other parameters that we can use in there. For instance, I could have the number of columns. If I don't care about the columns, then I could ignore that, and I can just do another comma. Now I'm at the starting point. I could change the starting from one to something else. If I don't care about that, I can press a comma, and then I can go to the step parameter. And then for step, say we just wanted to count uh, by threes, put it a three there for the step, press enter, and now we're gonna have values going by threes. Four, it's still gonna be 180 rows. So maybe not practical for our loan amortization, but still, it's a great function and definitely one you should start using whenever you wanna create a series of values in a column. Thanks for hanging out with me.